Uh, we have at least four distinct cultures of graduate education at RIT. Uh, one of them is the humanities, the other one is the arts, and then we have the STEM disciplines that include science, technology, engineering, uh, engineering and mathematics, and then we have the, uh, the arts. And one of the purposes of a symposium like this is to bring the students and the faculty together so they can interact across wide swaths of disciplines. It's just a very wide variety of talks. The, the topics are as far-reaching as you can imagine, and that's really important to me because although I'm personally just into computer science and graphics, uh, the ability to communicate with people from different fields is really one of the most critical skills you can develop as a student or as a professional um, or as a person. And um, oftentimes in school, we only interact with people in our own fields. So a symposium like this, where it's uh, interdisciplinary and you've got science and the arts, it's uh, really a rare opportunity to develop those skills. The graduate research is really the lifeblood of any good university. I think, uh, I want you to imagine a university in which there was no new knowledge created. It'd be a pretty boring place, you know, everybody would be just sort of regurgitating the old stuff over and over again. But what happens is when graduate students work with faculty on graduate research is they expand the boundaries of knowledge. And then that affects downstream the curricula that we teach our students. We had at last count about 44 presenters, um, around 25 uh, poster presenters and maybe six art exhibits. And um, we have uh, all across the disciplines. We have um, uh, science, technology, engineering. Um, we have some art students, um, communications. So we do have a really broad, um, um, a lot of different people presenting from the different disciplines. So that worked really well for us.